discussions around artificial intelligence seem to circle around the same topics and the same stereotypes. You know, robots replacing humans, mass unemployment, human extinction and, yeah, Terminator 2. Well, this is not useful. We should be able to think beyond the obvious stereotypes when we think about superhuman intelligence. Superhuman intelligence, like, what do we even mean when we say superhuman intelligence? Like, what is superhuman? Well, dogs have superhuman smell, owls have superhuman eyesight, horses have superhuman speed, and computers have superhuman memories and calculation capabilities. One way we can try to create strong AI is by repeating human intelligence. But we can do better. Collective intelligence techniques study the behavior of individual agents in a system, a little bit like the behavior of ants or insects in a colony or, or groups of fish. By increasing the complexity of individual agents in a system, more intricate capabilities and more complex behaviors emerge. And we can use these results in completely different domains to solve real-world problems, including the problems in our domain, which is cybersecurity. At F-Secure, we started building machine learning systems already in 2005. Now, that's a very long time ago. But most of what we've been doing is collecting data from individual endpoints and bringing it into a central backend to a cloud where we can then correlate the data and look for anomalies in the traffic. And this works. We get real results. But we can do better. Swarm intelligence techniques can open new doors to us. And we are using results of this research in our product already today, but we are at the very beginning of a multi-year project. As we progress further, we believe that collective intelligence techniques will be relevant in a variety of other fields, including transport, and logistics, and energy, and vehicles. We call this project Project Blackfin. If we want to create superhuman intelligence, we have to look beyond humans.